you need to use the next voice line to go down and to the left. Then we're going to go up a little bit to the right. The middle line that follows that line. But when it gets down to the bottom, it curves to the right. Then to tap off or top the uh, sound, hit the curve line again. Next, we're going to start on the right. To make the underside of the tab, start a little bit below the top of the tab. And make a circle or a oval. goes around and winds up on the same level as you started. Then all you have to do is find the point all the way on the left side here and make a circle to the point all the way on the right side here or a half circle, a curved line, an arc. Do you guys know any other words for curved line, use them in the comments. But we're almost done. Like always, I enjoy shading. So what I'll do is start by shading this down like that. By just making little lines that go about halfway across the tab. Then you're going to want to make the ends of the little hash marks line up in some way so that it looks like a shadow. After that, we're going to detail the bottom of the mushroom cap with these nifty little lines. And they should be slightly curved and reasonably even to me. Next, we're going to shadow the top of the going to want to consider how much you uh, shadow the stem when you consider how much you want to shadow the top. In this case, the light source is coming from this direction and the shadows are on this one. I'm not particularly good at it. I think there's supposed to be some shadows here also. Well, do that. Keep studying. Well, to finish off our mushroom picture, I'm just going to make a little bit of a mouth. The squiggly lines, they 